Four years ago, I installed this camera completely off the grid using solar to demonstrate how to do it properly, and it turned out better than I could have hoped for. If you haven't seen the previous video, I'll put a link in the video description. But basically, I installed a Ubiquiti camera in my backyard using solar as the power source and transmitting the video feed wirelessly through a wireless bridge into my house. The camera location is right next to my house, so I could have easily used house power for this, but the project was to demonstrate how to do a setup like this with solar and literally never have to touch it again. Every kit that I've seen for sale out there that attempts to pull this off is woefully underpowered. I don't know who's doing the engineering on these little kits or solutions, but they don't know solar or at least they've never used it in the real world. So when I did the calculations for my system to determine the solar panel size and battery capacity, I designed them to handle any kind of weather other than a natural disaster. So how did it turn out? First, the solar panel's been flawless. Now some might think that a 100 watt solar panel's overkill for this type of setup, but a properly sized solar panel for an all weather, set it and forget it type system like this needs to be big enough to charge the batteries very quickly. Because you may only have a few hours of sunshine in a day, or you may have three days straight of overcast where the panel's only producing 20% of its rated power. A lot of kits will have a 20 watt solar panel for a camera like this, and that just won't work in anything but good weather. Second, the controller for this system is amazing. Unfortunately, it's no longer for sale. So I wasn't even gonna talk about it in this video until I logged into the system in preparation for this video and found that there was a new firmware update available. Finally, after years of no love, Ubiquiti updated the solar point and the weather tracking and interface works flawlessly now. I really wish this thing was still for sale as it perfectly marries a solar charge controller with a fully customizable PoE switch and weather projections and on and off scheduling and on and on. The only thing that was not great about it was the lack of support for lithium batteries. But unfortunately, Ubiquiti has dropped all of their solar products and has not produced any solar points in over three years. Third, the sealed lead acid batteries have lasted four years just fine. Even though four years is about 1500 cycles, I designed the system so that on a good weather day with direct sunshine, the batteries won't be discharged more than about 20% depth of discharge or to about 80% capacity remaining. This has extended their life while still giving me plenty of capacity to get through those long stretches of overcast and rainy conditions. Fourth, the camera has been great. Ubiquiti is a network company though, and their specialty is in carrier grade wireless devices and consumer and prosumer networking gear. But I'd put this camera up against any other PoE camera out there that I've used in my career and it fits into the same ecosystem as the rest of the networking gear, so I don't need to juggle multiple management interfaces. I face this camera at my trampoline so I could monitor my kids while they're playing outside, and I'm happy with the quality and the performance. And it only uses about three watts on average during the day, and I'm able to shut it down completely at night, automatically with the solar point settings, so it doesn't use a ton of battery power needlessly. Finally, the most important thing is that I haven't had to touch the system for years. I occasionally log into the solar point and check things out, but that's just out of curiosity and my habit as an IT professional. I've not had to fix any actual problems with the system going down or a component failure or a lost IP address or anything since it was installed. It's just worked. Before I wrap up this video, I did want to mention that I get tons of emails and phone calls about this asking for help. Unfortunately, there's a lot of engineering that goes into these systems and numerous variables that are unique to your application. So I'm afraid I can't help everyone that emails me asking for free design work, but I do offer a comprehensive system design package on my website where I'll do everything for you and provide you with a build list of the major components you need to buy and all of the math and assumptions and figures that back everything up. Anyway, thanks for watching and please leave a like and a comment below if you found this video helpful.